Hey guys, it's Dan here from Fire and Saw. I've just been sent this mini chainsaw for free to test it out and see what it's like. So this is available on Amazon. It's the Denqueer mini chainsaw, D-E-N-Q-I-R. So definitely pronouncing that wrong. But um, this is everything it comes with. You've got the mini chainsaw and it comes with two different bar sizes. So right now that's the 4 inch bar in there. This is the 6 inch bar, if you can call it a bar, mini bar. There is also two batteries. So one here and the other one is in the unit already. Came with these gloves which aren't protective by any means. I'm not sure what their purpose is. Keep your hands warm. <laughs> they, um, they, they're just made of some soft material. But they come included. Um, you've got safety glasses as well. You've got your charger. And you've got some a screwdriver for tightening up the screws, changing the chain, changing the bar, and that sort of thing. And then you've got the extra chain which is for the the longer bar as well and then it comes in that carry case which is what keeps it makes it handy to keep it all in one spot so that's the saw it's all charged up it came charged up I'll just show you dog doesn't mind it too much so now I'll, I'll try it out on a couple of bits of lumber before trying it out on some branches as well. So I've got a few bits of wood here to test out the saw on. Start with this one, it's just they're all pretty thin. Gives a cleaner cut than I was expecting, to be honest, but it's still not the tidiest, tidiest cut. But really easy to use in a bind, or if you if you need to cut some lumber for the garden, making raised beds or any landscaping projects or that sort of thing, it might be right. Now this is a bit thicker. It's got this uh, safety button here. That you need to be holding down before pulling the trigger which means it's a little bit safer for around kids but I'd probably take the battery out when it's not in use pretty tidy and pretty efficient really. The other longer bar might even be a bit faster, perhaps. And then just this tiny piece of wood. Pretty good. And I think it would be quicker if I wasn't, you know, if I had a bit more weight, like my foot on the other side of the bit of wood and I was in a better position, not for the camera. So uh, yeah, all in all, pretty good for wood. So I've just come down to this part of the property where I have some really large compost piles where I put all my branches from the rest of the garden and it's uh, got these trees that are overhanging into the paddock here. So I'm just going to try it out on, on one of these larger branches. So this branch here for example, I'll just lift the camera up. That one there is probably three inches thick. So I'll get in there and give that a go. Nice. 
can see it got through that really good. So I'll use the saw off camera to break that up a bit and um, break that down and add a little bit more light into that paddock. I'll go and try out another tree now. So I have an orange tree in a glass house up here that I no longer want and I've already pruned off all of the branches and then I just need to take out the trunk. So this, this shed glass house was used as a chicken coop for the last few years and I've decided now I want to use it as a glass house. So it's got a few orange trees, mandarin, lemon, another orange tree there but that this isn't really the climate for them and they don't do well and this tree after three years had never produced any fruit and then this this tree here has died as well they weren't really looked after but I've got this trunk orange tree trunk if you can call it a trunk and um, I want to take that down so I'm sure this will be fine so this is still quite green because the tree was alive it was just very sick these lemon trees in the background are very sick as well so we'll see what we can do about reviving them but um let's see how the mini chainsaw goes on this Not too shabby. Rips through it and quite a clean cut. Now I've got a little orange tree nubbin but I'll dig out those roots at some point. So yeah I think um, I think this is really good after five minutes use what you can tell. I'll update this once I've used it a few more times and got to know it a bit better, tried out the other bar. But all in all, this is a decent little mini chainsaw. And uh, yeah, it's good because it comes with the two batteries, the two sizes of bar, and a few bits of protective equipment. And um, a lot of the other ones don't, don't have all of that. So if you're keen, I'll leave a link in the description for where you can buy this exact one. And uh, also a link to my full review on the blog. So thanks for watching.